Hi, my name is Laura and, well, first thing you should know about me is that I have a passion. I mean, a big one. It's so big that I'm super happy when I think about it or do anything for it. And it's because of this huge passion that I took the decision to pack all my stuff and leave everything behind. But wait, let's take a step back. So I come from this beautiful sunny island, Sardinia. But somehow life, you know, moved me all around here and there. And now I ended up in Germany. Here I have a pretty regular life. My day starts at 7.30 when the alarm rings. I hate it. Then I have half an hour to get ready. I'm always late. So I can go out and walk 30 minutes to my office. Once there, I have to sit in front of my screens and keep the chair warm for the following 8, 9, 10 hours doing stuff to make rich people richer. All day long. But then my duty is done. I can walk back home finally. I have big plans for the evening, so many things I like to do, but wait. First I need to rest a little bit because I'm very very tired. And then, well, it's already late. I use the computer a bit, cook my dinner, eat it too often in front of this thing, and relax for some time. But not for too long, because the following day I have to wake up at 7.30. Once ready, I have to walk to the office and then work, 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 work. Every day is a duplicate. And then sleep, computer, food, eating. And then the weekend comes and while trying to enjoy it as much as possible, I have to do things I have no time to do during the week, like going to the supermarket, cleaning, laundry, I'm completely stuck in a situation that doesn't allow me to focus on my big passion. Alright, now you might think that my life is like that. Which is wrong, because actually it is more like this. Yeah, I do my best to have fun and adventures, enjoy single seconds, and be happy with the little things in life. And that's the point where most people say, see, you're happy, what are you complaining about? As if having some high quality moments justifies selling the only resource we really own, time, in exchange of money. Somehow, we end up thinking that selling down is the biggest achievement we can ever reach. That in this little world, there's no room for our childish dreams. That study, work, get retired is the only way to live a life. That a family and a car will make all of us happy, that we never die and there is always a future to postpone our desires. Now be satisfied, just do what all the normal people do and don't dream too big, say these people. And that's the point when I say NO! As far as I know, that's the only life that I have. I'm 26, I will never be 26 again. So now I have the will and the energies and the lack of responsibilities to live the life that I want. I don't know my future, you don't know my future either. 
and no one knows if I have 50 years or rather 50 days left. All that we know is that I'm here right now and if I'm not enjoying my time 100%, well let me tell you that it's such a waste. And second thing I want to say, yes, I dream big. And I will keep doing it because big dreamers make big things. And I want big things from my life. And do you know how I can afford dreaming big? Simple. I believe in myself. Yes, I do strongly believe in my capabilities. And I have to because, come on, I'm the main person I can count on for my whole life. I have to support me. And you know, I don't have time to waste being sorry for myself or complaining for things that happen around me or for saying, oh, I'm so unlucky and blah, blah, blah. No, I fight. And when I dream big, I know I will achieve my goal. And the reason for this is, one, I really, 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 really want it. So, two, I will fight with all my strength to get it. You know, Lara, if you think about your life and think about what will happen in 30 years or what will be on 40 years and ask yourself 40 years ago, was it an awesome life? You can answer this question with yes, then go on with your life. And if you say no, then just wake up. Chase your dreams. <laughs> Decidere di partire e mollare tutto non è mai una scelta facile, però non è neanche una scelta facile decidere di, di passare tutta la vita a fare lo stesso lavoro nello stesso ufficio. Quindi credo che la domanda principale sia qual è il rischio che voglio correre? Il rischio di passare tutta la vita a annoiarmi o il rischio di non sapere cosa farò il giorno dopo? Credo che l'avventura in questo caso non sia rischiosa. Quindi, buon viaggio Laura! Per te stronza! <ride>